This is not just a story about a student protest. It's a battle for transparency and truth. It's May 6th and we're in Los Angeles on the campus of the University of California, Los Angeles Extension. To be precise, William, also known as Streets LA, is on the third floor of the parking garage. He is a journalist, a cop watcher. He films the police at work and documents them with his videos, which he publishes on X and YouTube. What does this have to do with the protester against Scientology? William started the protest against Scientology more than six months ago. He went to the test center on Hollywood Boulevard and stopped recruiters from luring people in with false promises. Since then, more than 100 live streamers from around the world have joined the movement. Streets LA also has a YouTube channel called Scientology Audit. But his main project, which he has been pursuing for years, is cop watching. He observes and films the LAPD during their operations and calls them out when they make their own rules. He documents this in detail on YouTube under Film the Police LA, as well as on X at Film the Police LA. Cop watching is the reason why William films more than 40 young students being arrested for no apparent reason in a parking garage at 6 o'clock in the morning. But not only that, he himself was also arrested. A journalist, he is not the only journalist to be arrested. Journalist Sean Beckner Car Mitchell, who has a long history of covering protest movements in Los Angeles, was also arrested. Gina Viola, another prominent progressive activist and former mayoral candidate. See for yourself what happened and what the old media didn't report. Since that was too fast, let's go back a few minutes and watch the whole thing in real time. We start the moment the order is given to stand behind the observers. The observers and journalists are surrounded and prevented from leaving. Shortly afterwards, they start making arrests. She accidentally got into this situation and started filming. She wasn't even part of the protest. Now she's charged with conspiracy. How is that possible when there is footage that shows that she came by later? Is this development by the UCLA Police Department the way to silence the free speech? It is unbelievable to see so much law enforcement actively intervening and days before many acts of violence were committed on the UCLA campus and the police did not intervene but were a silent spectator. What happened? He's got a press badge on. He's got a press badge on. He's got a press badge on. I don't understand it. Well, he's being a he's a journalist though. Why is she being detained? Why are you guys detaining press though? The guy has a press badge on, you're detaining him. Hey, I'm probably gonna get arrested right now. Tell, Paul Chase, tell him I can't watch him. Okay, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah. Why am I being insane? Step down off the curb and Why face away. Why am I being insane? Why am I being detained? You're detaining journalists? Detaining journalists? You guys are detaining journalists. You detained somebody with a press badge on. Now, I'm being detained. I see you guys come flying up the street, pulling up in here, where the story is, and you're detaining the press. No, I have no weapon. No, no, actually, you can't check me for anything. I'm a member of the press, and you were going to sit there and... Hey, 
Alright, All right, get me out. Thank you. It's a real good look, guys. You're attending press members, members of the press. You're detaining a legal observer right now. Multiple legal observers are being detained. Once again, you're detaining multiple play members of the press. It, right there, that person came in third place from mayor right there. You're arresting the person right there who came in third place from mayor. I have a seat. I'll take a seat. I don't have any hand. Detaining members of the press, you're detaining legal observers. He's got a press badge on right there, and you're detaining him. You guys got to be kidding them. You guys don't want to have documented what's going on. Right. Unbelievable. Right. The chat was once again a great help. After William was arrested, the chat alerted the other Scientology protesters. DOA made his way to the parking garage and showed what makes him so special. He's very loud and doesn't let anyone tell him what to do. The press was not enthusiastic about him because he was featured in every live report. Justice for Streets LA! Justice for Streets LA! Don't tell me what to do! Justice for Streets LA! Justice for Streets LA! Justice, shut up! Don't tell me what to do! I'm not listening to a pig cop! I thought it was hilarious. The sad thing about the local press is that nobody reported that journalists and observers were there and were arrested for no reason. You're, you're listening to the tyrant pig himself! Tyrant pig, Justice for Streets LA! Justice for Streets LA! Justice for Streets LA! Justice for Streets LA! The support in the comments of the coverage on YouTube was huge, and many also demanded justice for Streets LA. That was incredible. Delaying an official police investigation. Now, whether or not that continues, we don't know yet. We have to wait and see, so it takes time. But that's the detention at this time. And Sky 5 is overhead, too. You can see a big police presence around Moore Hall. The university says classes and work there will be remote due to ongoing disruptions. They are also asking people to avoid the area of Royce Quad. Law enforcement is stationed around campus to help promote safety. Uh, we do see a UCLA police officer speaking right now. I'm going to try to get in there and uh, hear what they're saying. I'm going to put my mic in there now. What sort of alleged that, violation? That is the charge. I understand. Did you have a question? Uh, I'd like to know if we can speak to our students. No. Um, we're, 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 I'm here on behalf of a large faculty group. So right now, they're not letting lawyers out here speak to students or those who have been taken into custody. But this is all coming as the chancellor, Gene Block, announced a new office of campus safety yesterday. He said urgent changes were needed in how the university administers safety operations after the chaos on campus last week. Those clashes lasted for hours before law enforcement intervened. A former police chief will lead it. Rick Brazil will be the inaugural associate vice chancellor of the Office of Campus Safety, which will oversee the UCLA PD and the Office of Emergency Management. Brazil, who you can see on the far right of this photo, was the chief of police in Sacramento from 2008 to 2012. I call her streets. She, she didn't answer. I'm sending her a message. One point eight for filming the cops. All right, I messaged her. I messaged her. Well, we'll be at the police station for you. There he goes, the legend, legend walking, legend walking, legend walking, greatest of all time, the go, Street LA. Then DOA leaves the parking garage and goes to the other side, where they take the arrestees. The bus is already waiting there to take them away. Streets tells the press what happened, and the LA Times reports that journalists were arrested for no reason. They arrested everybody. I came in there. I speak myself. I came in here after the cops. I watched the cops pull in. I came in behind them. You can look at my Twitter and see it. Next two. You can look at my Twitter account, Philadelphia Police LA, 
and see it. And they charge me with interfering 148 PC and conspiracy. Go! Streets, he's a GOAT, greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. Greatest of all time, Streets LA. He's a real journal. Streets! Hell yeah. <laughs> I was giving them shit because they. Okay. I heard, you, I heard you in there. When it was, I heard you the whole time. I'm like, man, that's that. That's that's that. See, I've watched him. Yeah, yeah, he was arrested. Yeah, that, now let your guys know about him. I've got no problems. Yeah, no, I didn't say you did. Okay. Yeah. I don't hear apologies now. How did you guys do I think you did. My phone's blowing up at 7 a.m. Oh, uh, okay. She is going to be coming out. I told them, they, they called me in a room. They said, we verify that you're a member of the press. We're going to let you go. Are there any other members of the press out there? And I said, yeah, Tom, Becca, Tom, Tom, Michael, and Gina Viola. And so Gina's going through her process right now. Thank you. But, yeah. So it's just book and release without anything? No, they dropped the charge. Yeah, no book. Yeah. They, they, they said, I'm sorry. Was it, oh, was it a detainment? That's or? they charged them with conspiracy. To the they were about the process. That's crazy. And then I knew there was a, I knew there was action going on. I got a message saying there's going to be a protest tomorrow morning at 530 UCLA. Keep it secret. Anonymous. I don't even know who it was. So I got there at 530. I'm looking around. I can't find anything. I see my other buddy, reporter, and we're looking around. Can't find anything. We sit down. We see a helicopter directly overhead of a parking structure, and we're just out there waiting. We don't see anything. I thought maybe they're just looking at B-roll for the looking at the encampment that's there for the morning news. And then we see police car come flying up into the parking structure. So I go in after it. I got up there, and a cop car comes around the corner. I follow right behind him. Start recording. He, they detained the 40 people behind that were there. I stood back like I normally do. The guy sat there and said, hey, step behind the car. I step back behind the car. I sat there for 20 minutes, 25. I don't know how long it was. And then out of the other people were showing up, the legal observers showed up. And then out of nowhere, some sheriffs came. They asked the sheriffs to stand behind me. I said, well, that's some bullshit. Yeah. Like, what's that about? And next thing you know, they start arresting us. They wouldn't tell me what it was for. Finally, the lieutenant told me it was for 148 PC interfering with an investigation by filming at a distance. You know what I mean? I don't have to be right up on top of somebody filming. You know, this iPhone 15 has got pretty good zoom on it. And I was literally, with that green fences, this is how far away I was from from all the action. And they still went and arrested me for 148 PC. I watched, you weren't even yelling for once. <laughs> I, didn't say yelling. I didn't say a word. Yeah. I, know. I didn't say a word until after I got put in handcuffs. Yeah. Then they put me in handcuffs and I started yelling. So then they put me in a car because they knew I was going to be jammed up in the car. And I was the only one put in the car. And then they were all charging them with misdemeanors. And they let me know they were charging me with a felony. I was getting charged with a felony, everybody else. For what? I was just standing there. And then the detectives calls me in a room, did the whole apology thing. You want something to drink? Fuck yourself. Shit. They cut my sweatshirt. Piss. Yeah, they cut my sweatshirt yesterday. <laughs> I'm, maybe some of the floor, there was like a big pile of dirt. So now I got dirt or whatever. They said you come out of jail looking cleaner than most people. Yeah, they were really confused too. Well, they were Look at how white they are. Now dirty now. <laughs> did you hear that? Did you like the pig noises? Man, everybody, they all loved it. So, do you pull up? I'm sitting in the back. Did you know I was in the back of the police car? I did. They told me in chat. And I and I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, he can't even see me. And all I hear him, I mean, he had that whole oh, fucking. I heard it. it echoes in there, man. And I hear him. I was laughing. You, you gotta look at the KTLA thing. All you hear is him in the background. Fuck the pigs. <laughs> Free street, streets, streets, LA, KTLA. Down to my YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> KTLA's whole comment section is streets and DOA. Oh, yeah. The whole comment section. There's. There's just hundreds and hundreds of, yeah, <laughs> it's so great. I'm pissed. So originally they had seized my phones. They they had my phones over at the police station. Right. They released me already about a half an hour ago. But they said they can't let me go until they bring their phone, my phones to me. Because everybody else out of here, when they leave here, they're going to have to go get their own phones. But they're trying to kiss my ass or whatever because they knew they fucked up. So they brought the phones to me. But I was pissed off. I'm like, you can let me. I don't want to sit here any longer. 
I'm sitting here for a half an hour longer when I don't, I've been released. Why am I still in a holding cell? And I was pissed. I was like, if they're charging me a felony and they're going to take both my phone, I was going to be pissed. I tried to get that for your phone. That's what I was trying to get <laughs> for. But it was, it was too late. They weren't going to. Yeah. No, I was like, man, I'm going to be locked out of all my accounts and shit. I knew you were fine. I was just worried about the phone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't. Phone. Yeah. I, it's the truth, though. I didn't care. I All I cared about was. Yeah, I said that. I was like, yeah. and I have like my ID in my phone and credit cards and shit. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming. What the, aren't you supposed to be in school? I don't have school. He doesn't have school on Monday. Uh, you, you, he was the first. In one. other words, he said it ten times. Already. After you see right, he was the no first. No schools on Mondays. Ask where I was. <laughs> Solomon, the Solomon, the hero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it, man. I can't wait. I'm Scotty. What's your name? Yeah, I can't wait to see that footage. Wow, epic journalism being arrested. You had the you had the content of the of the thing. Perfect. I can't wait to see that on ABC tonight, man. I, 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 perfect. They arrest him and they drop a charge as a journalist, and a mayor is running for press. I can't wait to see that on ABC tonight. What do you think? Did ABC run the report on William and the other wrongful arrests? You can look for it. Thanks for watching.